Hi, and welcome to this week's Total Pickleball Vlog. My name is Mark, and today I'd like to discuss Yola paddles. Now, other than making high quality paddles and being known for pushing the envelope in terms of paddle design and construction, I would also assert that Yola offers one of the widest selections of paddles to choose from within a single manufacturer. And for good reason, I'm gonna say that menu is ever expanding. Now, for anyone curious about or considering playing with a particular Yola paddle, we'd like to give you a better idea of what to expect in terms of their overall performance. There's quite a bit to cover today, so let's get to it. Uh, starting off here, we have what is referred to as the Yola Seneca. This one also has another uh, cousin to it. It is called the Seneca FDS 14. The one I have here in my hand is the Seneca CDS 16. This one's got a carbon drive surface, a 16 millimeter core, so you're gonna get a little more friction based uh, performance out of this one. And this is kind of a compact uh, shape and handle length as well. Top notch entry level uh, paddle with plenty of room for skill improvement for sure. Sure. And next up, we have the Yola Radius. This one obviously is similar to a ping pong paddle or a table tennis paddle. Yola's heritage began there and merged towards pickleball paddles. But I would also just say for anyone wanting a really speedy paddle, aerodynamic wind cheating design is gonna enjoy this paddle. It's very light, maneuverability based. This one here, like the Seneca, has a response core instead of a reactive core. So it's definitely gonna cushion the impact, give you a lot of precision. Again, just a top-notch offering if you're looking for a maneuverability-based paddle. And the third paddle up we have here is the Yola Vision CGS. CGS is for a carbon grip surface. This one's extremely friction-based, a lot of spin potential out of this paddle, and it's working with an elongated paddle shape of about 16.5 inches with a little longer handle as well, which is ideal for allowing players to control the action using one or two hands. This, again, just a turnkey performance paddle, like the Radius, a little bit heavier, maybe 7778. And I would also assert that this is a great platform for modification as well. Moving on, on to the Ben Johns iconic CFS Hyperion 16. This one really changed a lot of things for players in terms of performance out of the paddle, construction and design. This one features the cold forged handle, so this is giving you a little bit more stability, uh, better vibration control overall. And this one is the CFS 16. It also has a thinner core for the 14 millimeter. CFS is referring to their carbon friction surface Definitely spin friendly, a very obedient paddle. And for anyone that likes that tip at the end for just a little extra reach, uh, it also features the arrow curve design. And now we're moving into the latest state-of-the-art paddles. Here in my hand, we have the Yola Scorpius. This is used on tour very successfully, I might add, by Mr. Colin Johns. And this one is featuring a more compact paddle shape, and it's a little wider span across from three to nine. So I would say this one offers a huge amount of pop. I really enjoy this paddle from the backcourt. Serving with it in ground strokes is just easy to get the ball to dip. And overall, just a, a fantastic paddle. This one is functioning off of a unibody design. So again, that one piece design really helps stabilize the paddle, gives it a little uh, extra propulsion and power and improves overall durability without a doubt. And then on to another state of the art paddle, we have our Ben Johns Perseus. This is the man's paddle of choice on tour. Very successful with this paddle. And it too, like the Scorpius is featuring a reactive core instead of the response core. And the CFS is still present, the carbon friction surface, but that is blended with a charged carbon surface. Same thing goes for the Scorpius as well. Both of these paddles are running at about eight ounces. So again, kind of like the Vision, I'd say it's a great platform to add weight to. Just overall performance from any part of the court, this is just an ideal paddle. One of my favorites from Yola for sure. And then, Last but certainly not least, we have tip of the spear technology. These are referred to as the Hyperion C2. And these ones are kind of truly hybrid paddles in that they're taking uh, the best attributes from the original Hyperion, such as the arrow curve design, and they're blending it with the Perseus. And it's not really the Scorpius shape, so it's you know the elongated 16.5. Uh, overall length with a five and a half inch handle, which again allows the player uh, the option to choose, you know, two hands or one hands on the paddle uh, during point play. This one here I have in my hand actually is a signature paddle for Simone Jardine. Ben Johns also has his signature on this paddle. This is not the paddle he's currently using on tour, but I believe this is the current paddle that Simone is dominating with. 
And that's about all we have for you for Yola paddles today. If you'd like to learn anything more about these paddles or anything else pickleball related, be sure to visit TotalPickleball.com.